In this video, we look at the effect of the Niger coup on the uranium price. Canadian Mining Report is not a financial advisor. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. The recent rise in the uranium price has been driven by concerns over supply of the metal related to a coup in Niger, which has boosted an already strong secular uptrend ongoing since 2017, with the pace picking up over the past three years, with the uranium price doubling from around 30 US dollars per pound in January 2021 to 60 US dollars per pound as of August 2023. With uranium not regularly traded on exchanges, there is limited visibility on the price beyond the monthly Cameco data which is available only to August, but the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust or SPUT is a liquid instrument with daily prices which can be viewed as a proxy for the market's expectations for the uranium price, and the SPUT price has continued up in September 2023. While Niger's uranium supply is not as critical as giant Kazakhstan at 43% of world output in 2022, or major players like Canada or Namibia at 14.9% and 11.4% respectively, it is the seventh largest producer at 4.1% of the total. The coup is having a direct effect on Niger's output, with its main uranium supply corridor closed, and Francis Orano recently stopped production at a Niger plant given limited supply, shifting maintenance originally scheduled for 2024 to 2023. Supply from Niger is especially an issue for Europe, which has been the largest global consumer of uranium in recent years, given its widespread use in the region for electricity generation, and in 2021 it was tied with the US for total consumption at 28% each, with North Asia at 25%, most of which is China at 15.4% of the global total, with the rest of the world at 19%. Niger is only a minor uranium supplier to the US and is unlikely to be a major issue, with its main sources Canada, Kazakhstan, Russia, and Uzbekistan. However, for the European Union, Niger accounts for 25% of its uranium imports, almost equal to Kazakhstan at 27%, with Canada and Russia its other two main suppliers. China has no uranium imports from Niger, with Russia and Kazakhstan combined at 86% of the total and a small contribution from Uzbekistan and Namibia. While the Niger issue is likely to continue to affect the uranium price, in terms of maintaining European and US nuclear energy output, natural uranium inventories remain quite high, although they have been declining in the EU over the past few years. Europe's uranium inventories were still at two and a half years in 2021, down from 2.75 years in 2015, while US inventories were at 2.81 years in 2021, down slightly from 2.95 years in 2015. For more information on uranium, other metals, and junior mining companies, click the link in the description or bio below to go to www.canadianminingreport.com.